Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Vanguard not initialized or when Valorant error code 57. So this is a message. It comes up whenever I start the Valorant game and how we can fix it. I'm going to share two easy solutions that you need to apply and I will be doing that right now. First, what you have to do, you have to click on quit. And after that, you need to make sure that it's been completely closed. You also need to close it from here, from the very right hand bottom. Just click on the arrow up. Just look for if there is any Valorant icon or Riot icon, then you need to close it. You can also close from the task manager. So make a right click on your uh, taskbar and choose task manager. On Windows 11, you can use the shortcut key that is control shift and the escape key. Now here look for any Valorant or a Riot file if, they, if you find it then you have to make a right click and end task. Okay. Just close everything and now the first thing that you have to do we have to delete certain file. So click on the search icon and type CMD. And then choose run as administrator. The black window will be coming up here you have to type few command that you will be getting in the description so the first one will be sc delete vgc just click on it and then hit n and then hit enter now we have to run the another command that is sc delete vgk so both this command you will get in the description so do not need to worry Okay, you can see delete service success and then you have to close it. Now once done, just open your file explorer and then open your C drive. Then click on program files. And then look for Riot. Okay, Riot Vanguard. So here it is. And then you have to delete this entire folder. So just hit on delete key or make a right click on it. Now it says that it's uh, the action cannot be completed because the folder or a file is it open in another program. So probably any of the program has been opened. That's why I ask you to uh, just close it from everywhere. And still if you get the same message then what you have to do just need to restart the PC. And after restarting we will just uh, do follow the same step again. So let me quickly restart. All right, the PC has now been restarted. Let me just follow the same step again. So we have to open the folder and then click on this PC. Go to local disk C, then on program files. And then you have to look for Riot. And here it is. Now make a right click again on it and choose delete. And this will be now deleted. Okay, once done, now we can again open Valorant. And let's see it comes up or not so how you have to open it just type on your search bar valorant and choose run as administrator click on it so now you can see it's installing and downloading so what it says you game requires a system restart to play please restart your computer if the issue continues reach out to our player support team all right so now again you have to restart it just to make a quick restart Okay, so we have finally now restarted the PC again. So again, I will go and open Valorant. Choose run as administrator. And the game will, the screen will now be coming up asking me to log in so I can log in with my account. And now let's see whether it's working or not. The problem has been fixed or not. Everything will be in front of you. Okay, it's now coming up. And see that it whether it give us the home screen or not or gives an error message again. Okay, so let just wait and see what comes up. All right, so bingo, you can see the screen came up. Now we can play and enjoy the game. All right, hopefully this will help you as well, guys. Make sure you hit the like if this worked for you and subscribe to the channel for more related videos in the future. Thank you.